Hello everyone. Today I am going to make another t-shirt design. Now for this one here, I am going to use this vector, these vectors in my this design. But these are from different vector packs, as you can see here. So I will give you this bundle on my group. You can practice with me. Now I am just going to copy them in my main work cardboard. Okay. So before starting the design process, we need to check that if there is any white parts in our design just like that so there is only white in this skull one so we need to fix that now for fixing that there is some different ways to fixing but i am going to use the very easiest way now if i double click here i can select the groups so as you can see this is just a extra part of the design so i don't need that i am erasing that now for this part here if i just take my magic one tool and click on this white i can press ctrl x just like this so if i press ctrl x it is going to erase everything that is in white here but as you can see that is destroying some effect here so for fixing that i need to use another way that is called pathfinder in this pathfinder you will find this trim option so i am clicking on this trim it is going to trim this like whatever we can see it is going to trim that with whatever is behind them so if i now select the white with my magic wand and delete them it is going to keep my details so that is why we use trim option now this is i'm going to make it complete black just like this then my vector is done <coughs> now for this one here the theme is i am going to use this sword in something like this area like it is going to something like this like this sword is going through the skull like this so for that i am going to first of all align it center wise just like this then when where the sword is touching my skull it should be some crack there so that's why i am using this crack vector here if i just make it little bit smaller in size because it should should match the size of the sword here it should not make a bigger crack than my sword something like this just like this so that is good for me i think okay i am focusing on the wide of my sword so this crack should be wide enough to put in the like fit in the sword area so something like this now <coughs> for this one here this part of the sword should not be visible so first step is I am taking my sword, then go to object path, then offset path, click on this preview. Now this is a bit bigger maybe, just a little bit, 3 pixel, that's good. Click OK. So once we have a offset path like this, we can press Ctrl X to cut it. Now I am selecting my skull one, then if I open the transparency for it, right double click, then click here, clip. Now I need to paste my swords offset path here so press ctrl f so when we are pasting ctrl f this is looking like something like this but <coughs> as i told that i don't need this part to be visible so i am selecting the sword vector here the offset path that you pasted i am pressing shift e for eraser now with shift e eraser tool i am erasing this part that i don't need i just need this part that is overlapping with my crack here just like this something like this so that is good now this part of the skull should not be visible because the here is the sword so whatever is behind the sword it should not be visible so i am taking my pencil tool by pressing n and with my pencil tool if i just okay so this is my pen pencil tool i need to make sure that the fill color is black no stroke that is good now if I draw a shape like this, it is going to hide that part. So as you can see now, the skull is not visible through my sword. So that is good. Now I am clicking here to come back. Now for this area, the crack should not be also visible. That is like in behind my sword here. So I am selecting my crack one and then if I, okay, so I don't need to open a transparency for it because this is just a small part I, do, I will not need it in future so I'm just taking my eraser tool and I'm erasing my crack like this 
like that like the part that is going that is visible so something like this that will work for me this part i am keeping because that is the behind that is behind my sword so something like this maybe some more steps here if i select this one press shift e for eraser tool just like this okay not like that like this so something like this that is going to work for me no problem now the problem is the sword is kind of making something mess here and that is not that should not happen so i am first step is i am selecting my skull one as we create a offset path for the sword so we need to create a offset path for our skull tool so same pixel click ok cut now this time i am going to select my sword one so when my sword is selected i can open the transparency for it press ctrl f and do it ctrl f it is looking like this let's go to pathfinder march unite to make it a complete one single shape and that is working here very well but this part is making some problem so i'm selecting here then if i erase it like this i need to make sure that i am not erasing beyond my cracks then it will be visible again so i am just erasing inside my crack area something like this so as you can see it is now a perfect design here like my sword is going through the skull and then coming out from this area and this part of the sword is hidden that's good now for this kind of designs i am going to okay maybe just i will bring it a little down three to four a step down that is good now if i select the if i am moving my sword then i need to move move the offset path of the skull inside the source transparency then if i same pixel like up down and then it is again perfectly aligning with my vector so that is good now i am clicking here now that part is made so i am making it a group ctrl g that is good now i want to use this wings <clears throat> something like this maybe i will bring that a bit rightward like that that is good now if i select them like this i can align them even like this okay this is not looking good so let's just align horizontally here so that is good now as you can see this is how it is looking right now but i want to do some modifications here okay maybe i will make this skull a bit bigger just a little bit bigger because the wings should not be too much bigger than the skull <coughs> something like this so i want to make it look like this part of the skull will be on top of my wings but this part of the wings will be on top of my skull so i'm selecting my skull vector skull and the sword group go to object path offset path again same size offset path 3 pixel that's good ctrl x to cut now i'm selecting my wings so inside the wings transparency press ctrl f so this is looking like this just go to pathfinder merge and unite so merge unite is making it a complete one single shape and this is perfectly working in this area but as i told you that i don't want i want this part of the wings to be on top of my skull so that's why i need to erase it so i'm taking my eraser tool again just to erase like this the area that is maybe something from this area also something like this so this part i am just cleaning up because i want to keep that part on top and when we are erasing that part i don't need this part also so that is good now it is looking like that click here now i am selecting my wings because this part of the wings should be on top of my skull so i need to create offset path for my wings then click ok now ctrl x to cut now i am selecting this part here this vector group open the transparency con click here clip then press ctrl f to paste in front now it is looking like this we can maybe just make it merge unite to make it a complete one single shape so that is good now this part is working very well but here is some problem so this is the same way i am taking my eraser tool shift e now i am going to erase the part that i don't want something like this 
so they now it is perfectly looking good and perfectly blending with my design like the wings is on back and then it is coming on for front something like this that is what i wanted to create here so that is that's good for me now for the this design it is done now i'm making it a group then i need to add some text to my design here now for adding some text i'm going to add a ellipse here i need to just make a okay this ellipse is in fill color so let's press shift x for converting into strokes maybe 10 pixel stroke okay that's a bit bigger okay no problem so little bit smaller like this okay sorry for that that is because of my hotkey okay so it is good now i need to select my these all three items to align them perfectly like this that is good now maybe this one i am going to make it a bit bigger something like this that is good now i want to place text on my this ellipse so i am going to take my type on path tool sorry for that type on path tool then if i click on this anchor point i can write here so i am writing leave here i want to add a text that is called leave free die young so that's this is my leave now i am going to add this is a skull sword type of design i should use a font like that so i'm going to use here the go everywhere font that is good font now for this one here i'm going to make it like this i want to fill this gap here something like this then press ctrl c ctrl f it will copy this text and paste in front of this text so I have now two version of this live text, lip text and now if I bring one here, I can bring that. Then if I double click, I can type in whatever I want here. Something like that, maybe a bit smaller in size, just a bit. Okay, so this is my text here with keeping, that is keeping my sword details there and now I want to add die young text so i can do it thus in the same way but i want to do it in a different way here so leave free die young this is the second text here okay i don't want to lose these two text position from this group so i am selecting them all or maybe just like this to make them a group now it is not going to move now I am keeping this here, if I select this group, I can align it in the perfect center position, just like this. Then maybe, okay, I need this, this part of the sword a bit longer, so I am double clicking to select my sword, keep clicking until it is selected, something like this. So now if I take my direct selection tool, I can select this area like this, then if I press my down arrow key it is going to bring that down so that is really simple and easy and that is keeping the proportion everything perfectly good now i can make it a bit bigger something like this selecting them again to align them center wise that is good now for this one here i am going to take a rectangle just something like this size press shift x for converting into strokes now if I make it 10 pixel that is a bit bigger maybe 5 pixel is good 5 pixel is a bit smaller so let's make it 7 pixel something like that now I am selecting them again aligning, aligning them to the center position just like this now this text and this rectangle should be a little down like this that is good now this part of the sword is visible and that is not it should be it should not be visible so i'm selecting my this rectangle ctrl c if i select this group i can open the transparency then press ctrl f it is going to paste that same rectangle here as you can see but that rectangle is in a stroke mode so if i press shift x it is going to become a fill color and when it is fill in black it is going to hide everything beneath it so my sword is not visible right now so that's it now this is the final design for my this one here this video maybe just i will do a bit 
changes like I am going to make it a bit smaller because my those two text leaf free die young is a bit smaller so this one also this one should be smaller too so I am going in, inside the transparency to make it smaller like this so that it fits into the size and it hides the part of the sword maybe a bit up then selecting clicking this two selecting this two part also a bit up, up like this so that is good now that basically mistake I make that longer so I am fixing that I am again selecting that part with direct selection tool and bringing that up so that is that's it guys this is the final design for this video I hope this will help you understand the transparency much more now do some practice show us in my group and you can just get this vector fi vector files from my group I will give you this bundle pack so Thank you everyone for watching my tutorials. Do subscribe and do comments if you want to know everything. Know anything about any designs. I will try to help you guys. Thank you again. Have a great time. See you in the next video.